Hey guys, so my name is Taylor Starr, as most of you or some of you know. Um, I'm Someone asked me to post a video on, um, on lifts. So I'm going to do the most basic lift, and that's like the start to the vortex. I'm not going to teach the vortex. Um, I'm just going to show you how to lift it from your waist to above your head. So, yeah. Let's get started. Can you see me from here? If I lift my hand. Okay, good. So, basic hooping. Everybody needs to know how to do this. The next step is to put your hand like this behind your back and the small of your back. My next step from here that I tell people to be able to do is to walk in a circle. So walk in a circle, which will slow the hoop down while your hand is behind your back. So here's the three steps. The next step, that's the first two steps. The next step is to, as if you had something really gross on the back of your hand, you're going to wipe it off. So, and as you're wiping your hand forward, the hoop is going to come up naturally. It's just going to grasp, because of the momentum of the hoop and you moving your hand up, it's going to get caught on your hand and it's going to slide right up. So, as you're hooping, like this, and you move your hand up, the hoop comes up. So, I tell people... Do not grab onto the hoop because you are more than likely going to punch yourself in the face and it's not going to feel good. So, walk in a circle and move your hand up so the hoop will come up. So, walk in a circle, move your hand up. Walk in a circle and move your hand up. I'll show you from behind as well. So that's the first three steps. This is now where it starts to get tricky. Because the whole point of walking in a circle is so it slows your hoop down, so then you um, so then the hoop won't really hit you in the face. Um, but more than likely, you might hit yourself in the face, <laughs> surprisingly enough. So, as you get up to here, as soon as it gets to, like, about in front of your face, you're going to um, kind of grab a hold of it, like so. Whoa! This is about where you're going to grab a hold of it, because right when you grab a hold of it, it's going to start spinning in your hand. So then your hand is going to be facing out and the hoop is going to be facing that way. So you're going from inside the hoop to outside the hoop. Inside the hoop, outside the hoop. Okay, so let's try it in one swift motion. Walking in a circle, hand behind our back. We're going to wipe the nasty step off the back of our hand, and then we're going to let the hoop spin in our hand to face outward. So, like so. It looks a hell of a lot easier than it actually is. Because I remember watching people do this and I couldn't do it and I smacked myself in the face every time like this, every single time. So hopefully you guys can relate. <laughs> the slower you do it, like 
as you spin, let the hoop just come up naturally. Um, because if you try to force it up, you're more than likely going to hurt yourself <laughs> by hitting yourself in the face. So, and it kind of has a little bit of an effect with it. But basically, the point that you're going to grab it is right in front of you. Right? I guess it's more so towards your left ear if you're spinning it low in the same direction that I am. So that's about when I let it come out. And then you can go into a lasso above your head. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, I'm really sorry. If it's not, please let me know. Um, and I will do my best to help you guys out and fix whatever doesn't really make sense. So, um, happy hooping. Bye, guys.